Hey guys, it's been a while. Welcome back to another video. Ivan, Monique. I don't know how long it's been since we made a video, oh. but in between that last video and this video, Monique and I got married. Boom, and we got some We also got tattoos. Tattoos. It's these are zodiac signs. Well, this is hers and that yeah, one's this mine. One's Ivan. So yeah, so we got married now. Um and uh, also we've been going to the bins in Austin mm -hmm. uh, a lot more and because we're getting back into Monique's uh, keeping up with the Depop stuff and I started reselling on Mercari. Not a lot, not a whole bunch of a lot. I still have another a job. Um, so I'm just reselling on Mercari and it's been going all right, not too bad. But uh, yeah, so we got a bins haul. This is probably from like two trips. It's not a whole bunch of stuff, but we also, there's also a Goodwill nearby that we love going to. Mm -hmm. They always have cool stuff. So we're gonna start with that and we're gonna pretty much alternate. And yeah, so I think uh, Monique will be going first. So for the wedding, I did like all my own hair and makeup and everything. Um, and I actually used some foam rollers. Um, and so I ended up picking up more foam rollers at the i think it was at the goodwill it's one of the thrift stores but this one's pretty cool because it has like the rat tail comb that helps you like tuck in the end of your hair and like these little clips so because i plan on maybe doing that hairstyle again in the future i like how it turned out it was kind of like a 1950s inspired uh hairstyle so there's those so, and then we went to um another goodwill and i found this really cute little um it looks like an alarm clock. It's like a little ceramic container. It says rings and things and you can actually put, you know, like rings or earrings, little stuff on your nightstand. So I grabbed that. And then I found a stack of four plates. These are all by uh, Corel. And they kind of like match the kitchen because they have like a red strawberry thing going on. So there's four of those and I paid $1.99 a piece for those, but these are like good bagel size. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so now let's get into like the bin stuff, stuff I found at the bins. I found this pack of six like under eye little patch things like for puffiness. Um, and this is sealed, it's like brand new sealed. So I grabbed that. I also found this random little like keychain of Stitch from Lilo and Stitch and I think this is like from McDonald's or something but it's like brand new like never used very clean so I might put that on my purse or something. Let me jump in and start showing you some of my stuff. Uh, again I'm not I, I am picking up stuff to resell but I'm, I'm just getting I'm really sticking to things that I like which is collectibles, toys. Uh, just things that I like and if I'm in love with it, I'll keep it. If I'm like, yeah, it's cool, you know, whatever, then I'll, I'll put it up on the Mercari page. Uh, I think we have links to that stuff in um, in the description. I think so. I got to double check that stuff. But here we go. Let me start off with some things here. I got a keychain here and it's a little, uh, it's a little tiger guy head. I thought it was cool, so I picked that up. I got some playing cards. I, they looked vintage to me. They're sealed. They're from Binion's from Las Vegas. Uh, I remember this casino. I think it's still there. I'm not sure. But they look vintage. I mean, they could be just made that way, but they're sealed. You know, sometimes you need a deck of playing cards. Uh, found a Culver's uh, pin, lapel pin here. Love Culver's. Uh, actually, uh, Dallas or Tendo introduced us to to uh to Culver's love it we used to have one nearby us up north up in north Texas I think there's one in Austin somewhere I think so we haven't checked it out yet uh Monique found this little Donatello like bootleg turtle might be um might be Mega Blocks I'm not sure Donatello found some uh Lego minifigs. I'm putting together a lot of Lego minifigs. Found this Batman here, Batfleck Batman, at the Goodwill store, not at the bins. He was like a dollar ninety-nine or something. Picked him up. 
Found this tool at the bins. I'm not sure what this tool is for. Leather work, you think, Winnie? Probably. Leather work, Probably maybe? Not sure. Not sure. So also at the bins, I found a bunch of CDs. I got a little stack here. I got the best of Blondie. Uh, Phil Collins, both sides, I think it says. Both sides of the story, Phil Collins. I got Enya. Oh, can you? I didn't notice if there was a glare. Sorry if there was a glare on the other ones. Got Foo Fighters Greatest Hits. And I got Mo uh, Motley Crue Shout at the Devil. Can you see that? Found this little sheep or lamb plush backpack. It's very clean. It's in really good condition. And I'm gonna be reselling this on Depop. Got this little uh, Sephora toiletry bag for traveling. I found a Hotshot Tools um, heat tool. This is like to make your hair wavy. It has like that bubble. Uh, why can I not speak today? It has like that bubble thing going on. And, and you know what I found out is that this is actually a knockoff one because the real like professional brand or whatever is called Hotshot and this is Hotshot Tools. But from what I found online is that they sell this one at Sally Beauty. It's just a little bit cheaper. I think, you, I think they sell them for like 20 or 30 bucks these ones. And then the Hotshot brand is like more expensive. But it, it works, I already tested it out. So it, it looks like brand new too, like nothing's wrong with it. So I'm probably gonna keep this. And then this, uh, actually Ivan found these, they're like cutting mats. They're pretty cool, they're from, uh, what is that? The Pampered Chef. And they were sealed in the bag, but we opened them. So it has like little measurements of like how to chop stuff. And then this one shows like the types of knives and whatnot. And this one has like different measurements. Those are pretty cool and they were brand new sealed. They still have like the little plastic backing on them too. So I gotta wash those. Found these vacuum attachments but they actually don't fit my vacuum so I might sell them, I don't know. Let's go back to the bins. Uh, I found this little bag of Lego pieces and it actually looks like it's a um, General Grievous uh, build. They got his head here and some like body parts and stuff. So I gotta look, see if I can find the instructions on, for that build online and uh, put them together. Uh, we got a full size Donatello here. You guys excited for the new TMNT movie? I am looking forward to that. And then uh, I found uh, one half of the Goosebumps uh, bookshelf, bookends, bookshelves, bookends. Uh, I wish I would have found the other one, but I didn't. Uh, I found this one, so that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, found a sweet vintage Batman. Um, what do they call these? Oh, a little toiletry bag. Toiletry bag. There you go. It's pretty sweet, man. Some kid had picked it up at the bins and then he ended up putting it back and I picked it up for me because love me some Batman. Found a quarter at the bins. Came up 25 cents at the bin. Found some tarot cards. They're not that cool. They're kind of like knights and stuff. Um, so yeah, Monique found this um, like little cake topper set of uh, soccer players. So that's pretty cool. It looks vintage. I'm not sure though. I'm not sure. I got this really cute um, soft purse. It has like a kind of like leopard print or cheetah print. I really like the colors. They're like pastel colors and it's very clean. It has a snap closure. It's pink on the inside. It kind of like satiny. And I'll be selling this on Depop also. Then I found this really cute vintage blanket. It has a bunch of Disney characters on it. And it's pretty clean for being as old as it is and also, you know, having being a light color. I don't see any like staining on it. So, let me see. I was trying to see if I had a year on it, but it's like something from that I would like find or be using when I was little. 
So I'll probably keep this one. I'm not sure yet. Got this t-shirt for resale. It's a Marvel t-shirt. It looks brand new and it has a bunch of like characters and the letters there. And the back is just plain. This one is a small or extra small, sorry, in case you're interested. That'll be on Depop. And then I found these uh, Paul Frank pajama pants. I used to have something similar a couple years ago. They're like hot pink with um, Julius the monkey on there and little hearts. They're just, they just look like that. And these are a size, let me see if I could find the size on here. I believe they're a size small, but the tag's a little faded. So these will be on Depop also. And then I got four leggings just for myself. Uh, most of these are like by um, LuLaRoe because they're really comfy. So I got this like peacock print one. Then I found this uh, owl print. She's like wearing a little bow. They're really cute. Got these camo print ones. I believe these are from Walmart. And then the last thing I'll show you guys are these leggings. And they're like a burgundy, like heathery print. So that's it. This item here I found at the Goodwill store. Boom, check that out. That is awesome. I love that. I will probably be repainting it. Why are you focusing over there? It's annoying. I will probably be repainting it and uh, just painting the head, like the skull part, uh, bone color again and leaving the, the horns um, gold. I think that will look cool. Put that up in my man cave over there. And I also bought at the bins, I found this little piece of artwork here. It looks like it's a screen print. Um, and it's signed and everything. So I still have to look up the artist and I, I picked this up and I put it back like three times and I was like, no, I need to take it. I need to take it with me and put it up on my wall. So I brought that, that was pretty cool. Uh, and then something else that I'm uh, doing is I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, read more books. Uh, the last time I read like a book book was probably back in high school. So I'm trying to read more books. So as I come across them at the bins or the Goodwill store and they're not too expensive, I'll pick them up. So I picked a couple up here. Two of these are from the Goodwill store. One is Joe Hill's uh, Horns. And uh, you might've seen the movie on Netflix. It's with, uh, I forgot his name. The kid that played uh, Harry Potter, Harry Potter. Uh, Horns. And if we saw the movie, the movie was interesting. Uh, Decided to pick up the book and read the book. Right now I am currently reading um, The Shining. And then I found Louis Anderson's Goodbye Jumbo Hello Cruel World. I don't know if this is like an autobiography or something. But so, come on. Come on, focus, focus. There you go. So pick that up. And then I also got uh, this J.R.R. Tolkien's The Silmarian. Silmarian. And this is here, back, back here it says, here's his story of the creation of the world, the ancient dream that sets the stage for The Hobbit and Lord of the Rings. It smells like cigarettes, so I'm gonna put that out in the garage and let, let, it, let it bake a little bit. Hopefully the, the smell goes away. And then, boom! Got a little asterisk, a little asterisk action. And this is in uh, actually in French. So it's written in French. So this is like a French edition. You can see that. So that's cool. Uh, any Anytime I find like books like this that have like, are like, you know, from the old comic strips and stuff, I, I pick them up. I do have a bunch of Calvin and Hobbes and I, I oh yeah, I actually recently picked up some um, uh, Tintin, Adventures of Tintin books, so we got that. And uh, that's it. That's it for my haul. That's it for the hauls. Uh, 
but we wanted to say that we'll be what we'll be posting videos about once a week on this channel uh because we are trying to hit the bins at least once a week uh, i think we went like twice this time i believe so and dallas was actually here about a week ago uh and we went like three times i think so we went to the austin bins both austin bins and yeah just the austin bins uh, so we, we are trying to go once a week uh, to find stuff to resell and also for us. We've been finding a lot of useful stuff also there. For personal so, use. So we're, you know, always in, look, keeping an eye. I'm always looking for art uh, stuff also. So, um, yeah, so we'll be posting once a week at least on this channel. Not sure on the date yet. It depends when we go, on what day of the week. It depends when we go to the, to the, to the bins. Yeah, I want to say like Thursday and we could make it be like, or we could name it like Thrifty Thursday. I feel mm -hmm. like that would be cute. Yeah, and sometimes Monique will be uploading like just her own haul. Mm -hmm. And depending on whether I get a haul or not or what's going on, I'll, I'll upload too or we'll upload together. Mm -hmm. So that's what we have planned for the channel from here on out. Uh, I, I, I'm I not allowed to film at the bins, the ones that we're going to. They're very strict about it. Yeah. Uh, they've... I've, they've yelled at people before and stuff like that. So I don't want to deal with it because I don't want to get kicked out of the bins. Uh, I want to be able to go because I think so far they're my favorite bins in Texas. Um, in Texas. I haven't been to all of them in Texas. But as far as the ones we've been to, I really do enjoy those bins. So I don't want to get kicked out. <laughs> um, I'm also uploading on my other channel. It should be linked in the description. Uh, just doing all kinds of random stuff over there so you can head over there if you want to check that out and uh, that's it I think that's it for this video so mm -hmm. hopefully we'll be back in a week with another haul show oh. you guys what we picked up we're gonna be back oh, oh okay. we're, gonna we're gonna be, be back. consistent now yeah okay? <laughs> so all right so thanks for watching guys and don't forget to do what uh, comment like and subscribe comment like subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the next video bye